Hello and welcome to Flory Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 3rd of December 2021. Yes, we're into December already, which means silly season is upon us uh, for the holidays. So we've got lots and lots of fun things coming on towards the end of the month. But anyway, it was a lot of fun at the beginning, obviously at the week, obviously at the weekend where we had our Turkey Shoot 2021 uh, build. So basically it was a thing from the Thursday night, as you might remember, right the way through to Sunday night. We were with you right the way through weekend doing all live shows. Uh, thank you to everybody who joined us and thank you to all the members who took part in the group build we had some fantastic builds right the way through and as always on the end of the show i've got the final reveal video with all of your great work so hang around for that one there's some great bits down in there on that anyway it all started this week on monday where i finished off uh with part seven of the actual uh this is the zvezda one to three fifty scale delta uh and this is the tula a sip. So first time I've ever done a sub, I must admit it was uh, a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Uh, there's a full seven part video build of this one up if you haven't seen it already. And again, it tackles some interesting problems that you come across doing subs. Because of the scale effect, all of these scenes have to be perfect because there's no way of hiding them. Uh, so it's a lot more work as in sanding and filling and just getting these seams like up here to marry up and to go in. It means that, yeah, it's a lot of gluing, filling, sanding, refilling, sanding, refilling, sanding, scrape cleaning. All the different techniques of how to get a seamless finish were used technically during this build. And again, I tip my hat to anybody who does subs, ships, and things like that. Because again, when you're dealing in the smaller scales, you've got to take care of the smallest detail as well. And that smallest detail may be an imperfection in the plastic, it may be a sink mark, or it might be a seam line. And because of the scale effect, you can't leave it there because it stands out like a sore thumb. So again, this is where we were, scrape cleaning seams together, then sanding and filling, sanding and filling. And that was a big part of this particular build of how to get things absolutely seamless. So we were in there with various, starting off with being quite you know tame if you like, using Mr. Surfaces and things like that. And then we ended up going in there with super glue and talc uh, as fillers, really trying to get in there. But as you can see, it was a long old job. I think in total, it's five coats of sand and fill, sand and fill right the way through uh, before I was actually happy with it. Then it was off into the actual spray booth where we discovered probably a couple more faults, i.e. you can see it down in here, some of these ghost marks coming back in. So again, sanding, filling, sanding, filling. There we go. This one down in here played me particularly. Uh, so again, more sanding and filling, and eventually we managed to get it off into paint. So we got some red down for the actual hull, lower hull, and then we went in about the actual top uh, coat with the black and again on here there's probably about five or six different colors of black we used mottling templates and everything in our arsenal to break it up then we gave it metallic scrubs right the way through and then eventually we were sort of happy of how it's turning out you can probably see we use different shades of black all over this one as well to help break it up right the way through took care of the base and then trying to do a bit of test fitting with it and then the decals and even those were a bit of a thing because long old pinstriping for the actual watermarks all the way down the side trying to get those all nice wasn't an easy task and eventually it was into the weathering where it really came alive so gray wash right the way over it let that dry on totally and then by uh, different techniques brushing it back rubbing it back and then eventually obviously getting there and scrubbing it back to give you that sort of nice warning look to the actual surface uh, of the vessel so again lots of that going on with that particular build and then eventually we did turn out with something that looked exactly what we were after so really happy how it turned out uh, happy with the colors as well and it was one of those ones where i honestly thought it would be a quick build but no it wasn't it was a long old bit of process on this one so a lot of it was obviously just sanding and filling we didn't worry about uh, filming that but uh, definitely we showed all the bits that we needed to but eventually very very happy of how she turned out as well so uh, i was happy with that one so anyway that was there so that completes that particular build obviously members you can go off and watch all the videos on that one if you want to have a look at closer look at the pictures and some of the details on the actual build non-members you can pop into the main site just along there so that was monday getting that one all sorted and up with you on there then tuesday uh, we were carrying on really on the live show section of this uh, back to uh, doing the actual P51 that I was working on. I had a right nightmare with the decals and it completely put me back because I was using 25, 26 year old decals that just crumbled and fell apart uh, and I was trying to use those still for some unknown reason. And then we showed about obviously doing the weathering. So simple weathering wash right the way over this one to start with on there. And then obviously we were talking about other things during the show as well. Also up on Tuesday went the review for the new Airfix 148 scale 
the Haviland Vampire. This is the F3 variant. And again, if you click in down in here, you can either watch the video or we've got some nice little close-ups. Beautiful decals right the way through. The instructions, nice and easy to follow. Nice detail right the way around on the kit as well. Uh, and again, it looks absolutely stunning. And it's nice to see, I have to say, Airfix again. It's another step up. It's just that nice way it goes together. Really solid, good kit of this one. Uh, and again, not without a problem though, because it has been mentioned that the actual, uh, some people have got fuselage halves aren't joining up particularly brilliantly. I've got four or five people with photo evidence that shows there's a bit of a problem. Mine, I say, you can see it in the review, I've measured mine, got the calipers out, was absolutely fine. But apparently there could be a little bit of a problem. But again, get hold of Airfix. They are really 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 good and uh, they'll get you some replacement parts out if yours is a little bit like that but anyway full review on that one is down in there so you can go off and see that then we've got obviously uh on wednesday it's the pm show with me matt and andy and he's doing absolutely fantastic thank you for all the well wishes after his operation as i say it's going to be a long old uh, recovery process for him but uh, he is doing really really well and again we were talking about all different things up there and so up here you can see we were talking about the armor hobby's new p51 kit and the six versions which there are six because one of them has obviously got uh, the red markings on here, down in here on the P51. But obviously it's the show which we talk about all kits, what's coming out, what's expected in, obviously the promotional stuff that we do here with Peer Models uh, as our sister company and things like that. Also on then we had the review of the Jaguar, which is a, an old, basically friend of mine that I built some 20 years ago, one of my first ever video builds, uh, around about 20, uh, 2002. So again, it's about 19, 20 years old. I did the actual two-seater version of this one long before social media and all the rest of it. So the video is a bit crumbly, but there is the video build of this one up as part of the classic series when we used to be known as Pro Modeler. So again, you can go off and watch that particular build, which will give you an idea about this kit because it's the same kit. It's just got the different front on it for being a two-seater. But again, beautiful markings on this one right the way through. So again, you've got all the different options from the sort of modern ones to the classic to the in-between for sort of you know golf one uh, markings as well down in there so that's that one but the kit itself decals no problem at all it's showing its age but it's still a really really nice kit for a 70 second scale kit so uh, again if you do fancy doing a jag which is a very much an iconic aircraft one of my favorites you can go back and you can actually see that particular build down in there as i said before in the video on this one i will be actually building this one early next year as a free to watch video so uh, look out for that one and we're going to do it side by side comparison with the old one so i'm going to film it in the style but obviously it'll be a lot better quality than the old one which we did just down in here as well so a bit of a homage and a look back really 20 years later of how we did that actual kit last night obviously was the live show with me and the guys uh usual fun and laughter and giggles and all the rest of it and to be honest with you i completed off this little one down in here so this is my uh kit that we were working on for obviously for the speed build for the turkey shoot and i know the markings are not correct I am completely aware of this. If you're watching on the Sunday, you'll know that I had a bit of a nightmare with the marking, so I had to sort of fudge it uh, a bit because they just dissolved on me. So we were showing how to put dissolved markings onto a kit, but some of them literally exploded on the actual backing paper. So I've had to sort of make a sort of a what if one on this one, but really, really happy with it. It's Tamiya's classic 148 scale P51 uh, B kit. It's one of my favourite ones of all time. The D as well. We often spoke about, me and Matt have done shows with the PM shows as well, talking about how good these kits are. And for the money, they are still exceptional. Even though these kits are 25 years old, uh, they are still, I think, the golden age of it. Yes, okay, the details have been superseded and some of the accuracies are not quite there like they are with modern kits. But when you're talking about the money and how they go together, uh, it is that they are amazing. And like I've said before, I think this version and obviously the other versions of the P51 that they do, I would still highly recommend anybody coming into the hobby to build those kits because they are just beautiful kits. They go together. They're not overcomplicated. They're very straightforward and they just drop together beautifully and then that way you can get on to developing your skills as you're making your way through on a kit that's not going to fight you all the way the other little one i did as well as the little tiny uh, bandai at a6 
uh, which is just here as well. So again, we did him as a little speed builder. He took, I think we timed it, 15 minutes. Uh, and then with painting and weathering, it's about half an hour to do him. And at the same time, because of him, I've decided to get out an old faithful of mine, which is the bigger version of this one, which I'm doing a short video on this one, on weathering it, because obviously it's one of um, uh, Ravel's snap tight kits, uh, easy kits. So we've really put it together. So I've just done a simple thing about painting and weathering it as well. So that'll be up with you next week. And then he can go along with this little guy. I'm thinking false perspective. You know, this one's a lot further away, that one's closer, something else like that. But anyway, it was a great weekend. We had lots and lots of fun with that particular one. Up with you today, we've also got uh, Matt and he has been doing his figure. Uh, and as I said, he's got a little wet palette down in here. And if we just uh, move along just a little bit, hold on, there we go. Uh, he's been doing his little figure. Uh, again, so this is the 1 16th um, dragon figure, uh, showing you great tips and tricks about obviously with the painting of this one and all the bits and pieces. So you can go off and see that uh, the video is linked down below or it's down below here if you're on the main site about all the different bits down in here. And then again, he's showing you all about the painting and weathering and getting it onto the stand and that right the way through to painting of the gun. Obviously, was it an MG42 on this one or is it a 30? Not sure. Uh, but anyway, putting on the details for this one, the wooden stock, the various bits and pieces. Oh, it is the wooden one, so it must be a 42. It's not the old Baker light one, it must be a later version. Uh, so yes, very, very nice job on that one. So if you wanna see uh, Matt working on with a figure with that one, and obviously talking about the technical details and the paints he's using and all things like that, that is down below. It's part four, I know he's done the other parts for it as well. And we've got his truck as well video coming along. So there's lots coming from Matt as well over the actual next few weeks with that one. Again, really busy at the moment with all the bits and pieces, including getting your mugs out. There's a mug, here's one. So obviously I know, you know, this has come out to be the last time I'm gonna mention it on the show, I promise. But obviously we always do the mugs as a limited edition this time of the year. We've done it for the last four years. Uh, and this year we had 500 mugs done. And again, we get them done up front. I know I put up 500 mugs and normally there's the pre-order section that it goes up and then they go out. And they've been going out literally been trying to get them out every day this week sort of you know 50 or 100 a day trying to get them out i've still got around about 100 still to get out so if you're expecting your orders uk your last sort of get yours unfortunately uh, but they will be done over the weekend i'll get the final ones of these out so watch out for tracking information if you haven't got your tracking info by monday shoot me a message and i'll just make sure your mug is on the way to you but thank you to everybody who sent on those and again people are requesting about the merchandise because you've probably seen it on social media and things like that Obviously, all the line of new merchandise and that, I'm probably going to hold it off until next year now, purely because we're into December now, we've got Christmas and stuff. So in the new year, I will release the full new line of all the polo shirts, the t-shirts, we've got the aprons, and we've got all the other stuff that's going to go with it as well, including there will be a normal standard mug, not the limited edition one like this, it'll be a different one, which will be available if you want to get one like that. If anybody, you know, has put their name down for an order and has said you haven't had any tracking info yet, just wait till Monday, and then if you haven't had it by Monday, shoot me a message because I will get the rest of them done all weekend. It's just this week's been incredibly busy. I've been out in the unit first thing in the morning, last thing at night getting them out. But again, doing it on top of everything else, you just have run out. There's just not enough hours in the day. But bear with me, they are coming out and not on their way to you very, very soon. Okay, so having a quick look round at the PM store at the moment, we've got very new arrivals down in here. So we've got all the bits coming in. That Jaguar, the one that I did the review for, is currently out of stock. So we've managed to get in some of the GR3s and this has got the retirement scheme, which is beautiful. I've got those decals for it in 148. Uh, as well. So that's a new one down in there. We've got the uh, patrol speeder as well uh, for the Star Wars ones. And then obviously we've got this ones that we spoke about this week on the PM show as well for the new Svesda T62 and the new 48 scale uh, infantry sets as well from those. And again, all the usual bits down in here. We've got all the kits we've spoken about on the reviews and all the rest of it are just down in here. And then we've got the special sections had a, a bit of a refresh today some of the specials that are out there so we've got some of the nice mini art bits and pieces down in here as you can see we've got that korean which technically you could do an f5e of anybody's and just put your own decals to it uh down in there and some of the other ones as we were saying we've got the border models 135th scale um uh, messerschmitts down there on special and as well as some of the great war hobbies which is really nice stuff as well so we've got some of the 72nd ones and we've got the gorgeous early uh, mig 29 which was the first one i ever saw with uh slide injection molded one piece 
Peace missiles uh, which came out of that kit a few years ago now but it was a marvellous to see that one and plus all the other ones and the damage boxes section and all the rest of it is available down in PM as well just like that and like we said before it's one of those things it's just ongoing stuff is coming in you know as I say we've got the zeros came in stock as well uh, they came in yesterday but again we've just got to get them up onto the site so if you've got pre-orders with PM you'll be getting emails and payment requests and things like that those will be coming through you uh, over the weekend no doubt if you haven't had them all already all right so lots to come on there and that's about it for this week so all it leaves me to do is to leave you of your great work from the actual turkey shoot 2021 build amazing work from everybody don't forget i have moved and closed down all the threads now so if you did have a build thread they've been moved now to the appropriate section in the forum so you can carry on with those and then you can pop them in the gallery and they'll be up on next week's show the reveal section has been moved down now to the reveal area in the forum as well so if you want to see that or it is available as a standalone video on youtube and i'll link it down below on here so that's that's it from me. Happy modeling. Take care. I'll catch you all on Monday.